go up to about five, 600 feet in a helicopter and you look to the south, you see a lot of open water. Land used to be there, marsh used to be there, and over the last 40 years, it's eroded. Here in Louisiana, a particular focus area is bringing back the fish and wildlife habitat, but also helping to restore resilience and protect the local communities as well. The wetlands function as an effective buffer for storms, floods, and hurricanes. It's important to put our lines of defense into action in these coastal areas that are so threatened. We're at Point of Shen Wildlife Management Area in Montague, Louisiana. About 60 or 70 years ago, this area was primarily cypress swamp and, and fresh marsh. It had experienced loss of the cypress forest habitat as a result of increasing saltwater conditions after Hurricanes Katrina and Rita. When you drive around a place and you see the, some of the old dead cypress trees that are 100 feet tall, you know, in this general area, um, you kind of get a sense of what it used to look like. Through the levees, they were able to decrease the salt water, increase the freshwater conditions, so that they can start restoring the cypress habitat and see it come back. Cypress are critical because they have a very resilient capacity for hurricanes and storms, and their root system by nature is able to absorb extreme amounts of water during flood events. It is a pretty simple concept, we're planting trees, but the significance is the scale and the situation of the site. At a 4,000 acre scale, those benefits and co-benefits are so much more felt within the wildlife and the ecosystems, but also within the communities. The foundation saw a unique opportunity with this project. We supported 300 acres of the bald cypress forest restoration, and this is the first step in a 4,000 acre restoration goal. So that is a landscape scale project. NIFWIF was critical in seeding the first phase of this project and without their support, we really wouldn't be where we are today. You need to bring partners together, both public and private, to really have the resources at a scale that can address this challenge. Already with the sites we've planted, we're seeing seed propagation for about 20% of the trees we planted. And we're also seeing an 85 to 90% success rate. If we can continue to partner together with the experts, with the corporations and funders who are enthusiastic and eager to participate, we can continue to take on the world and restore the earth.